we're looking at video there of you waving to Buzz Lightyear uh, at the park. And I'm so curious if, about how the technology actually works. Are you, do we have to wear glasses to see that or look at our phones? This is all phone based. One of the real tenets of what we have built is making augmented reality in this digital physical metaverse, not only highly accurate and realistic, but also very accessible. And so we've moved away from the model of having to download separate apps for augmented reality. And this type of technology could be injected into any app or even in some cases, websites on the e-commerce side. And so that is a really huge part of what we have done technically from a capabilities perspective. What you're seeing there is actually real time integration on a regular mobile device of digital and physical without pre-mapping or pre-scanning, which is something that's really not been possible, I think, until today. So you say you're moving away from storytelling to story experiencing, but it sounds like in order to experience that story, we have to be looking at our phones while we're standing inside a theme park. Yes, I think in that particular example, there's, there has to be some kind of view device. And so the mobile phone is the most accessible way of doing it. And we really think about it as the same amount of effort as when you take a photo. You know, uh, some of these parks are actually the most Instagrammed and photographed places in the world. And so people are leveraging their phones. It's a question of when they do that, can we provide an experience that creates a deeper interaction and engagement with these spaces where it's not just about where you now have the power, you as a participant in this metaverse or in this wider experience can actually change or interact and engage with these things that might not otherwise be feasible or possible, but that digital gives us. I think there's an incredible amount of power and flexibility we see in the digital world. We see this manifest you know, in gaming primarily, but being able to take that and imbue that in these physical experiences has I think a huge amount of potential and is really a window into as glasses or as the metaverse becomes more prominent, what that world and what those modalities might be and feel like. How likely do you think it is that brands like Disney will merge their experiences with those of other brands? Like, will I be able to jump from Magic Kingdom to Universal Studios? And if not, will the metaverse really be a place where I can experience everything on the internet? Yeah, so I think that there's a few misconceptions about what the metaverse is. I think primarily driven by pop culture. I think the first is, of course, that the metaverse is this fully virtual world that's going to replace our physical reality. And fundamentally, at Illumix, we don't believe that's the case. We believe the real power and potential of the metaverse is in unifying the digital and the physical worlds, as you saw in those videos. And that's really what our tech enables and the types of interactions we we power. I think the other part of it is this concept that all of these worlds will become completely interoperable through a single monopoly. That's, I think, a big part of how people talk about the metaverse. And fundamentally, we see the metaverse evolving more similarly to the way the mobile app ecosystem has developed, where there are going to be different metaverses, perhaps for different IPs and for different use cases. There might be a different place or way in which we work versus socialize or play. And there may actually be several versions of that pending audience. And so that's really, I think, what the future is going to look like is several different layers or versions of the world that we can jump in and out of. So what do you think the biggest barrier is right now between life today and the metaverse of the future? Is it is it a hardware thing? Is it a you know product iteration thing? The fact that you know AR glasses don't really exist yet, or is it a software thing? You know, obviously hardware and glasses will play a critical role in making this ubiquitous, but I, I think it's actually more around the technology and the interaction specifically. Technology has not yet been at a point at which digital physical interaction, I think, unlock real value. If you look at where AR and digital physical has had the most impact and has the highest touch with the mass market, it's inside of social networks, right? It's inside of things like Snap and Instagram, where that's become a daily use case and a daily interaction for people. It's our vision that the way this will roll out is actually creating higher quality technology that has real accuracy and unlocks that brand value, but inside of existing use cases. So for us, whether that's the existing use cases of when you physically go to a you know, recreational environment or to a physical location, 
or even you know when you're already on a website, for example, and you're buying something in an e-commerce experience, being able to inject that okay. real meaningful digital physical interaction right near the point of purchase. I think that's what the future is going to look like, where all of these different modes will inherently have a digital physical component to it. 